Victoria's got, had a long history of, of uh, being strong in this area under successive governments, really going back for a, a century or more. Um, and that was particularly the case in the, in the last decade uh, under um, my leadership and, and also under Steve Brax. And we made um, huge investments. And so whether it was in the new Flory or whether it was the doubling of size of the Weehi, whether it was the Synchrotron or the Ag Biotech at La Trobe, whether it was the Burnett, there were huge investments that were made um, in our scientists and expanding the facilities and the infrastructure that was available. Uh, and there are also many incentives to encourage biotechnology. And I think when you put all of those things together, what you see when you measure it in terms of jobs is a, is a, a huge increase uh, in the number of jobs. Um, you look just at the Parkville precinct, driven largely, of course, by Melbourne University, but think of that with the comprehensive cancer centre, with the, the Flory, the Doherty, and all of the things there that go to make up one of the world's great scientific hubs. And that's just an engine room of economic growth. It's an engine room of creativity. It's an engine room creating intellectual property. And all of that helps our economy. It helps Victoria, by the way, uh, and it also um, improves people's lives.